Hey and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, my name is Liana and if you are returning, welcome back. So today I'm showing you my five go-to hairstyles. So these are the easy, simple hairstyles that I love to do that just take me no time at all. So I'm starting out with getting my hair in braids so that it's wavy. So it gives me some texture and some volume to work with. And this is what it looks like and this is what I am working with. You'll need a rat tail comb for your parts, some little plastic scrunchies, some regular scrunchies, bobby pins, and if you'd like some spray and also some gel if you want a cleaner look. So this is the first hairstyle which is my middle part twist. This looks like you put in a ton of effort when you really didn't. So starting with a middle part, you're going to start with one side and you're going to be twisting it inwards towards the part. So you're going to start with a little triangle section and start pulling hair from both sides as you twist. My point of reference for doing the outside twist is I kind of line it up to the arch in my eyebrow and just take it to about the crown of my head and I bobby pin it with two bobby pins in the shape of an X. This is the best way that I find it to be as sturdy as possible. I fluff out the end so that it's not all twisted together and it's more volume in the back and that's it. I'm just going to repeat it to the other side grabbing the small section again and pulling it in to the part and then grabbing the hair on the outside just in line with the arch of my eyebrow again. Putting the bobby pins in an X shape so it's nice and secure and calling it a day. Next hairstyle is my diagonal part twist. It's the same thing as my middle part twist, just the part is diagonal from the arch of my eyebrow to the other side. I like this just because it gives more of a different frame to my face. I'm not using the rat tail comb because I want it to look very effortless and just tousled together. So I'm twisting the hair down to the arch of my eyebrow and then twisting it back to the crown of my head. As you can see here, bringing in just a little bit from the middle if I need to and then I'm going to bobby pin it the exact same way making the bobby pins into an X so it's nice and secure. And honestly you could just do one if you wanted to. So for the other twist I'm just twisting it straight back following the arch of my eyebrow with the outside part being twisted in. Again, X-shaped bobby pin, so it's nice and tight and secure. Hairstyle number three is my front twist. So this is a little bit similar to the other twist, but you're twisting and pulling the hair so it kind of looks like a braid. So I'm starting with a side part as you can see, and then I'm just going to grab a small piece from the front corner like that. And you kind of do have to pull your hair apart so that it doesn't tangle. You're going to split this into two sections. You're going to twist the front portion over the back portion and then before grabbing the front portion again to pull it back, you're going to grab some hair from the front and twist and then grab some hair, add it to the front and twist it over. It'll take a few tries of the hair so that you can finally see the formation but then you can see that it starts to look like kind of like a fishtail braid up in the front my hair is kind of dark so it's a little difficult to see but you take this as far down as you want to it's all preference but you'll just be grabbing a section of hair from the front 
tying it into the front portion and twisting it over top and you can make it go straight down the side or you can start pulling it backwards like I did so it goes a little bit diagonal and again bobby pins and an X so that it's nice and tight and secure. And I forgot to mention that all these twist hairstyles look great with your hair down, but also if you wanted to put your hair in a ponytail, whether it's low ponytail, high ponytail, looks super cute. And a little bit more oomph to your ponytail. Fourth hairstyle, we have some high space buns. You can also put these low towards the nape of your neck, however you'd like to. So we are starting with a middle part all the way down to the back of our head, splitting our hair into two full sections. I'm gonna tie up one side first, just so it's out of the way, so I'm not getting the other section of hair into the other <laughs> space bun hair. So I'm going to gather all of my hair and put it to the top of my head where I would like my bun to sit. I'm going to take my regular scrunchie just because I do have a lot of hair um, and use that but you can definitely use these small little plastic scrunchies as well. So grab all of your hair, bring it to the desired height on the top of your head and make sure you have all your hair <laughs> and I'm going to pull my hair halfway through twice and fan out the bun on the top of my head. This looks a little cray right now, but you just gotta work with it. So I'm going to take the remainder of my ponytail out, twist it around the bottom of my bun, and bobby pin. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. You're going to bobby pin the fanned out part of your bun, the loose hairs, down to however you want it to be. So if you want it nice and fluffy the way I originally had it, then you don't have to bobby pin that much. But I felt like it was a little too out there, so I bobby pinned as much as possible and I kind of made it look like it was opening on my head, kind of like a donut bun. So I kind of like pulled the little top part of the fan down and bobby pinned that so it kind of saw the middle of the fanned out bun, like that. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side, <laughs> see there's a little section I had to fix. but. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side as you can see here and just sped up but this really takes no time at all and the messier it looks the cuter it kind of looks so definitely make it your own however you choose to and isn't she cute when i have this i feel so cute and adorable <laughs> And last hairstyle is when all else fails, the messy bun. So we're just gonna get all of our hair together and put it on the very top of your head. I like my bun to sit very nice and high at the top of my head. And I'm gonna pull it through again halfway, twice like I did the little space buns and fan out my bun. What I do with the back is very similar to the space buns but instead of wrapping it around I tuck it into the scrunchie again like that so that you can't really see it and it kind of gives a bump to the back of my bun so it sits even higher and I just tuck any loose hair that I need to into the scrunchie just kind of like roll it in and you see how it like sits at the top of my head but it has like some support from the little bump from the remainder of my ponytail that's what I like, and this is what it looks like. Super simple, super easy, nice messy bun. I get compliments all the time on this bun of how high it sits and how big it is, but I think it's cute. I pull out some hairs just so it's more relaxed. You can definitely use some spray if you wanna just make it nice and sleek if you'd like. But this is my go-to messy bun. These are my five go-to hairstyles. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment of which one was your favorite. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.